What's going on there folks? Good morning. It is the Earth Master here on the live stream on this beautiful Wednesday. June 29, 2022 is the date, about 11.48 a.m. California time. A latest quake shows a 4.3 earthquake coming in to the East Coast area right now. A uh, looks like the South Carolina region. This is coming in from the EMSC model. Uh, this globe does show the USGS and a combo of the EMSC data reporting agencies. Let's go ahead and check it out, see if the USGS is reporting this activity. Uh, doesn't look like currently they are reporting that earthquake. But uh, it's definitely coming in through the EMSC model. I don't know, anybody up here in the chat room uh, feel that earthquake out there? Because a 4.3 will definitely be felt uh, across the area. Let's bring up the EMSC map here and see if we can get a little bit more info on it. Uh, 4.3, five minutes ago, looks like it was felt according to the EMSC model up here. Let me bring this up. Looks like about 10 kilometer depth here for the uh, earthquake. Check out the maps here real quick and see if we got uh, specific location. Looks like it's just north of this area that's seen a little bit of quake activity a couple days ago near the Elgin, uh, South Carolina region. Uh, this area has been a uh, little active in recent terms. Uh, far as recent days go in the past couple months as well of course down here in the south carolina region <clears throat> they have seen some large earthquakes historically uh, but i'm kind of curious to see what uh, the usgs issues here for this earthquake okay it looks like they've downgraded it that's a tremendous downgrade from a 4.3 to a 3.3 wow <laughs> all righty uh, a little bit shallower in the uh, depth department as well See if anybody reported filling this earthquake. It looks like quite a few folks. Large response of uh, reports coming in there from the community all over. It looks like Columbia and I'm sure Elgin in there as well. Right around the epicenter looks like some strong shaking up there in the strong category. So it's very possible the USGS may revise it. Um, that's Like I said, that's quite a tremendous downgrade from a... Uh, 4.3 now looking at uh, let me see here let's see if I can find out the magnitudes here 24 stations showing looks like uh, right around the 3.3 range one sh one here shown at 3.5 these are all automatic um, measurements from different seismograph stations and different channels within the area uh, some not being picked up at all, some showing a smaller magnitude. So they kind of rounded out. There's one right here showing a 4.6, a 4.0, 4.17. So it's very possible this thing could get um, upgraded. Look at this one reporting a 6.49. That's, uh, that's pretty crazy. I don't believe it's that, but this kind of just shows you how strong this earthquake was uh, in this area of the Elgin South Carolina region so I highly think that these guys will revise this and uh, update it to a different magnitude because I don't think it's just a simple 3.3 uh, let's see what the EMSC is still holding at now it looks like it's been downgraded here to an M3.3 at least on their list and it looks like it's been revised here as well so we'll see sometimes these earthquakes I mean that's Somebody reported a strong shaking and some of those magnitudes there showing well beyond the three magnitude. So we'll see. For now, though, both agencies reporting 3.3 in agreement. That's the EMSC model and the USGS all stating 3.3 um, magnitude out here. Pretty crazy. Uh, this area did see. Let's go over the last week or so. See what we got. Uh, little activity within this region. They did have a 3.4 just a couple days ago. In the same area now this area is seismically active in an active zone u.s hazard zone uh, of course the closer you get down here to the charleston area um, mount pleasant area things really get uh, pretty tense in terms of large-scale movement pulled up the list of earthquakes here in the south carolina region and they're pretty uh, uh they're pretty large and today an earthquake such as the one they had back in 1886 would do some uh, tremendous damage, some tremendous damage. I'm not even joking. 
Uh, let's see what the magnitude was on this one. I believe it was up in the six range. Uh, let's see what these guys are reporting here. At 7.3 magnitude. Looks like the state average is 10 to 15 earthquakes a year below the magnitude 3. Um, at 7.3 magnitude, the Charleston earthquake of 1886 was the largest quake to ever hit the eastern United States. So it did do some tremendous damage back then. And today, uh, an earthquake of that size would definitely uh, be probably worse due to the population density and the uh, and the um, the buildings and whatnot that are out there. It's pretty uh, pretty populated. So. We'll keep an eye on it, folks. Things kind of getting a little on the crazy side out there in the East Coast. Just got to watch it and be prepared, right? South Carolina, you know, it's all up and down this board. If you look at the hazard zones, the USGS does a pretty good job of showing um, some specific hazards uh, right around the Virginia area. Of course, they had that 5.7 quite a few years ago, you know, kind of uh, stirred things up out there. There's hazard zones all over, and I'm sure some that we don't even know about. That's kind of hiding out there. Uh, of course, a lot of people know about the New Madrid zone right here in the uh, Arkansas area and a couple other different states, Missouri. Uh, that area has seen some movement as well. Uh, it is a very active fault zone. And of course, back in the 1800s, they had a series of large earthquakes, larger than the, uh, than the South Carolina ones that they've seen. So earthquakes can happen anywhere. It's best just be prepared, folks. And um, I've always said I'll have some type of earthquake plan. You know, if you get a big earthquake, most people are gonna probably run outside, right? Depending on if you're in a building, technically you're supposed to uh, duck cover and hold on. Uh, it all depends on your scenario, where you're at, um, you know, and, and, and your surroundings, so. But uh, yeah, pretty active out there. A little bit of movement, like I mentioned here in the New Madrid zone over the last 24 hours, 2.0 and a 2.3. A couple earthquakes out in the western Texas area. We did see a swarm of activity up here, or down here, I should say, around the Salton Sea area last night. Uh, at one point, it looked like there was a little migration of small quakes stretching up towards the southern segment of the San Andreas Fault, uh, and therefore issued a earthquake watch for the Southern California region. That has since kind of died off. We haven't seen too much uh, in the way of further magnitude earthquakes uh, or further swarming in this area uh, for now. Uh, doesn't mean this won't pop, pop back up, but it uh, looks like the swarming, at least down here, is temporarily paused in the Salton Sea area. It is fairly active throughout the San Jacinto Fault Zone and the Elsinore Fault um, up here around the Ridgecrest area. North of the Garlock Fault Shear Zone, uh, still showing some activity. One within the last hour, 1.3. Uh, let's see what we got for the rest of California. Some spotty activity up and down the board, it looks like. Off the coast of Eureka, we've seen a 3.5 into the Mendocino Fault Zone here, uh, the plate boundary of the Pacific, and the uh, in this case here, the Little Gorda Plate, or the Juan de Fuca Plate as a whole, just off the coast here in Northern California, the Cascadia Subduction Zone Mega Thrust Area, still showing some activity out there. Uh, into the Pacific Northwest, a little spotty movement, uh, and throughout the Inner Mountain West regions as well. Let's see what we got for international activity. I want to get this update video on since uh, that's kind of a big deal out there. I'm kind of curious to see if they're going to update that or not. 3.3 from a 4.3. Some of those magnitudes are shown 6. That's crazy. A uh, little older activity throughout the Papua New Guinea region and into the Indonesia area. Some of that movement older. So a lot of back building and pressure out here along the North American plate uh, as a whole. Look at that. And it's pretty much the only area that's seen quite a bit of movement today. South America is pretty quiet in terms of 4.0 and above. Uh, down here in the Puerto Rico Islands area, we did see one earthquake uh, overnight into the uh, D uh, Dominican Republic area with a 4.2. This one pretty deep though at 105 kilometers. Got the Mariotos Trough, Puerto Rico Trench up here. Major danger zone in terms of creating some large earthquakes in that area. Little activity in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Uh, north of the Azores, Azores area, 5.0 and a 4.8. Uh, let's see, a little activity up into the Gulf of Alaska as well, it looks like. Yellowstone National Park, we'll cover this real quick. Just going to do a real quick update, folks. Got a pretty busy day, quite a bit of schoolwork and whatnot to do. 
Not a whole lot going on here through the Yellowstone area. It looks like a little bit of spotty movement last night. Seeing that little small microquake activity kicking up there in the Yellowstone region. So, all right, guys, once again, a 3.3 earthquake hitting the South Carolina region. This originally came in as a 4.3 on the EMSC model. And if you look at uh, a couple of these, it looks like it has been reviewed by a seismologist. A number of stations showing 14 with 11 phases. Uh, but the magnitudes, when you go over here and kind of click on these, on the station details, oh man, 333? If you know that, if, if people watch my channel, you'll know that's kind of a big number for me, 3.33. All right. Uh, a lot of these stations here showing around that magnitude, but also at the same time, many of them showing above the 4.0 threshold. Uh, in fact, I, I think I see more 4.0 than I do threes, roughly about the same. Did have one station again showing a 6.4 earthquake in this area uh, with an automatic review. But uh, they kind of mix all these together and, and, and uh, see which one's more, not what's more accurate, but they do kind of like an average uh, in terms of location. And then they can figure out the depth of this earthquake looking at the stations and the, the automatic preliminary data that's being sent up to these guys. And they come out with the 3.3 at uh, 1.7 kilometers depth for that earthquake there near Elgin, South Carolina. If it does get updated, we will uh, provide further uh, updates, but if I, I kind of like to know if you guys felt this earthquake or not. A lot of folks there reported feeling some moderate shaking within the epicenter. Uh, did you feel it? Responses uh, quite great near the Elgin area. Quite a few folks uh, keen in to let uh, the USGS know they felt this earthquake. So uh, if you did feel it, let me know here in the comments below. Uh, these guys are now showing a 3.9, 3.3 and a 3.9. Hmm. Let's man, hold on a second here. Let's see what's going on. That's a little odd. 3.3 from the USGS. Let me bring up the EMSC model once again. See what's going on here. Well, it's gone. It disappeared, at least off that map. So 3.3, no, these guys have it at 3.9 now. So yeah, it's hard to say folks until they get it all figured out. Originally a 4.3 here, 3.9, downgraded to 3.3, now upgraded to 3.9, whatever. <laughs> it's one of the three or four or five or 20, how many it was felt uh, and definitely looks like it was somewhat strong so uh yeah let me know folks if you did feel this earthquake and uh of course it's always scientific uh of scientific value to uh the geologists and whatnot and the uh of course here to this station as well all right guys we'll chat you a little bit later uh with a further update just wanted to get this update here real quick on this uh, 3.9 along the east coast out take care stay safe out there We'll chat you guys real soon.